it looks to me like the one on the left has the vanity light, the makeup lights, you know, the more yellow hued ones that go around the mirror on. Judge Penny Ascarate is one of many people out there that is pretty upset about Amber Heard lying and changing stories in court. Just like many fans of Johnny Depp, she had to sit through lots of Amber Heard's testimonies going through scrutiny and not coming out clean. In this video, we'll be talking about Judge Penny finally confronting Amber Heard about her lies and her changing stories in court. So be sure to stick around until the end because number one is guaranteed to shock you. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I have subscribed and I will personally reply to your comment. Let us begin. Number six, Amber Heard lied about her makeup product. Amber Heard had already gotten the opportunity to prove herself in front of the judge during the defamation trial against her by her ex-husband Johnny Depp. Still, she may have deliberately attempted to commit perjury. Despite giving her testimony under oath, a series of evidence have turned up to suggest that Amber Heard may have lied multiple times in court. Let's take the controversy surrounding the makeup product into question. Amber Heard's attorney raised a makeup product in court and claimed that Amber Heard had been using the makeup to conceal her facial injuries when she was married to Johnny Depp. Amber Heard's lawyer even stated in court that since the makeup product comes in different hues and colors, she has had to cover her various bruises depending on the color that best suits her. However, in a viral TikTok video, Milani Cosmetics, whose product got presented in court, denied that Amber Heard could have used its product to conceal her bruises. According to the cosmetic brand, the acclaimed mistreatment could have happened between 2014 and 2016. The particular product presented was only launched in 2017, so it was impossible to have been used by Amber Heard. Some fans of Amber Heard say she may have only implied any makeup product without referencing Milani's makeup. Still, many people think it is improper to give a fake representation in court after swearing under oath. We bet if the judge had come across Milani Cosmetics' TikTok post, perhaps a suit would have been over by then. Reacting to the video, a Twitter user by the name at FleshJ5 said, I guess the defense team never watched the OJ Simpson trial. Making OJ try on the gloves? Huge mistake. The defense lawyer, Chick, held up the exact makeup thing, stating that she used it to cover up her bruises. Well, guess what, ma'am? It wasn't even made yet. Case closed. What we can tell from the position of this angry user is that lying against makeup products will always backfire, especially when the brand may have people who are also keenly following popular cases like this. Another Twitter user with the username at PoseDoZelda added, You can bet the lawyers for the cosmetic brand are watching. Well, for the sake of her sanity, we hope she won't be getting into another legal battle. Number 5. Amber Heard lied that she had never played the guitar. Again, while giving her testimony in court, a pictorial evidence was presented. This picture showed a pretty messed up room with broken bottles, bloodied bed sheets, and some strings of the guitar already stained in blood. Amber Heard got asked by the cross-examiner to state what she knew about the picture presented by Johnny Depp's camp. The question was put to her for the court to understand if truly she threw a glass at Johnny Depp that ultimately severed his finger and thus prevented him from playing his much-loved guitar. However, Amber Heard said, I have never played the guitar before. Amber Heard was implying that she wouldn't know anything about the blood stains on the guitar string since she has never played one before. Trust the internet! Some fans soon started sharing a TikTok video which showed Amber Heard strumming a guitar in 2016 while singing a snippet of one of her movies. The judge may not be able to have the video clip in court, but followers of the suit sure have a way of telling one lie from the other. Is this a case of Amber Heard and her team being only good at hovering around a directionless circle? Let's look at another inconsistency in her story. Number 4. Amber Heard implied that Johnny Depp harmed a dog. While taking the stand, Amber Heard recounted a moment in which she was in a fast-moving car with Johnny Depp and he stuck the dog out of the window of the moving vehicle. She said, It was an eerie moment for me. Everyone in the car got freaked out. I had to pull his hands inside. A visibly emotional Amber Heard implied that she got so sorry for the poor dog and intervened before something disturbing could happen to it. Meanwhile, two videos of Amber Heard's past contacts with dogs soon surfaced online. First, a video showed Amber Heard sticking a little dog out of a moving vehicle while grinning from ear to ear. She had 
at some point, called a small dog she purportedly got from the Middle East a little terrorist. Number three, audio and doctor's testimonies prove Amber lied about Johnny Depp's severed finger. Johnny Depp had narrated in court how he tried to get away from an argument with Amber Heard by taking a bottle of alcohol. He said that Amber Heard wasn't too happy with that and then threw the bottle of alcohol at him. Johnny Depp noted that the bottle of alcohol flew past his head and shattered the window. According to him, he proceeded to take another bottle of alcohol, but this time around, Amber Heard threw another bigger bottle of alcohol, which caused his finger to get severed. Johnny Depp explained that he had lied to a doctor that his injury was self-inflicted to protect his ex-wife. However, the unconvinced doctor had remarked that the damage was of high velocity and couldn't have been sustained from a door jam. However, Amber Heard, in her defense, stated in court that Johnny Depp's injury was indeed self-inflicted. She said he sustained the damage to his finger when he got drunk and broke a few bottles in anger. Meanwhile, it turned out that Amber Heard had lied after an audio recording where she admitted causing the injury to Johnny Depp's finger was played in court by Johnny Depp's team. Number two, a viral video showed Amber Heard lied about reduced adult role claims. Amber Heard also alleged in court that a jealous Johnny Depp made her start getting more cautious of the way she behaved around male actors and the way she dressed. She claimed she started rejecting intimate roles and romantic scenes in movies because she didn't want to upset Johnny Depp. She said, I had to change my wardrobe to tone down on my mode of dressing. I stopped taking kissing roles too. Soon afterwards, social media users began sharing a 2015 video clip of Amber Heard from the Magic Mike XXL movie, where she starred as Zoe. In the video clip, Amber Heard danced seductively around the lead actor, Channing Tatum, who couldn't help but wrap himself all over her. This proved that she had lied about reducing such roles in movies. Number 1. Judge Penny Ascarate having none of Amber Heard's lies. Amber Heard had claimed that she donated all of her divorce settlement to charity. She said, I didn't care about the money. It was lesser than what I should have gotten. In 2018, she claimed multiple times under oath that she donated the money to the Children's Hospital and the ACLU. When quizzed by Johnny Depp's attorney, Camille Vasquez, who asked, Divorce settlement to charity. Amber Heard replied, I made a pledge. The lawyer then requested that she answer the question asked in the affirmative or otherwise. Amber Heard, however, could only repeat her earlier remark. Johnny Depp's attorney asked Amber Heard if she understood the question asked, and Amber Heard replied yes. Camille Vasquez tried to maintain her composure as much as possible. She then retorted, again, did you give the money to charity? Amber Heard only held her position. The visibly angry Judge Penny Ascarate who had patiently observed the back-and-forth movement of Amber Heard, angrily demanded that she answer the questions asked. The expression on Amber Heard's face would convince anyone that Amber Heard was only clutching at straws. Rather hesitantly, she admitted that she hadn't given all the money to charity. Synonymous with one another. And what did social media make of this? A visibly angry social media user said, Who is protecting Amber Heard? Amber Heard has repeatedly lied. Please investigate Amber Heard's scandalous, defamatory statements, narcissistic and self-promoting lies. It is time to send out a message that it is not okay to perjure oneself with deliberate lies and glaring falsehoods. Stamp it out. Another user named Atnush Haravi added, How embarrassing for some still trying to make her look like a victim. Amber Heard is a perpetrator. There is no way around that. We heard her lie through her teeth. Hashtag Johnny Depp got justice. At this point, we believe your guess is as good as ours. With Amber Heard getting her testimonies proved wrong, it will take only a miracle for her to turn the suit around. And there you have it. Do you think Johnny Depp also harmed Amber Heard or it was terribly one-sided from Amber Heard? You can let us know what you think in the comment section and... If you enjoyed today's video, we bet you'll enjoy the others that we have for you. So don't hesitate to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to get up to date on all our amazing videos and hit that notification bell so you never have to miss an update from our channel. Do you want to keep the fun rolling? Check out this related video to see more. I will see you in the next video.